In this example, we're given a, a subset of the collection of all two by two matrices, which by the way, uh, the collection of just all two by two matrices is uh, denoted with this M two by two here. Uh, we have a, a particular subset here where the entries satisfy these two equations. Um, so that narrows it down a bit. We've got, a, uh, we could think of it as a smaller set here. And we wanna check whether W is a subspace of the collection of all two by two matrices. So we're gonna check those three conditions from theorem 4.1.1, uh, I believe that says we can check if this subset is uh, number one, that contains the zero vector, and then is also closed under addition and scalar multiplication, then uh, this is a subspace of it, the two by two matrices. Um, okay, so I'm gonna check first whether the zero vector uh, is contained in, in W. Does the zero vector belong, ooh, what's the, in W? That's the question right now. I know um, possibly calling a, a two by two matrix a vector uh, might feel a bit unnatural to you, but here we're talking about vectors just as the elements of a vector space. So, so the um, objects that are contained in a vector space we refer to as vectors. Um, so the zero vector in that collection of all two by two matrices would be just a two by two matrix whose entries are all zero. And so what we would wanna check is does this matrix uh, satisfy these conditions so that it belongs to W. Um, so in this case, A is zero, B is zero, C is zero, D is zero, and you get that. Just kind of matching up the entries here. So is A plus D zero? Yes, that'd be zero plus zero. And is B minus two C zero? Yes, because that would be zero minus zero. Uh, so yes, the zero vector does belong in W. Now to check uh, the next two conditions, the closure under addition and scalar multiplication, we'll wanna set up uh, just some general vectors that belong in W. So uh, let's let V1 equal this matrix A1, B1, C1, D1. And let's let V2 be this matrix a2, B2, C2, D2. Where um, these guys belong in W. So A1 plus D1 equals zero. And B1 minus two C1 equals zero. Um, also A2 plus D2 equals zero. Sorry, that's gotten a bit messy and B2 minus two C2 equals zero. So we have the condition satisfied for these two matrices. The question now is, is this thing closed under addition? So if I take the sum of these two just general vectors in uh, W, would their sum also belong in W? So V1 plus V2 would be just add the corresponding entries. So we'd have A1 plus A2 in this position, B1 plus B2 here, and so on. And we wanna check uh, whether these components satisfy those equations um, so that they, this uh, matrix belongs to W. So the first, I'm gonna be going back and forth here a bit. The first condition is A plus D equals zero. So the sum of these two diagonal entries needs to be zero. Okay, so let me go back to this, this matrix here. And let's see, so the sum of these two diagonal entries. So A1 plus A2 plus D1 plus D2. Oops, plus D2, there we go. Uh, well, I could reorder this. So this is equal to, I could, I could group uh, the sum this way, A1 plus D1 plus A2 plus D2. That would be the same sum. I'm just changing the order a little bit. Oops. There. Uh, now notice that since V1 belongs to W, this is zero. We, we wrote that right here. 
plus, since v2 belongs to w, the sum of these entries is 0. And so we have 0 plus 0, so this is 0. So the, that, first condi uh, that first equation is satisfied. Second equation, uh, b minus 2c equals 0. So b, the entry here, minus 2 times this entry equals 0. So let's see if that's satisfied for the sum. If we do, let me draw a line here, b, which in this case is this uh, b1 plus b2. B2 minus 2 times c. In the c position, we have this c1 plus c2. We want to check whether this equals 0. Let me slide that up a bit. So here again, I can reorder things. Maybe I'll distribute that negative 2 first. So b1 plus b2 minus 2c1. And then when I distribute the negative 2, I'll have minus 2c2. And then rearrange things a bit. So b1 minus 2c1 plus b2 minus 2c2. And look back up at our, our setup here. So since v1 belongs in w, v1 minus 2c1 must be 0. And same thing uh, for our v2 here. And that's what we have as the parts of our sum right here. This has to be 0 if v1 is in w. And this has to be 0 if v2 is in w. So yes, the sum is 0. And so we've shown now that uh, w is closed under addition. OK, so we've shown that w satisfies those first uh, two conditions. Now we just have to show that that third condition is satisfied. It, is it closed under scalar multiplication? And this time, I believe that it is. So I'm going to set out to prove that it is closed under scalar multiplication, um, which means I need to use general vectors like I did in, um, with the item number two there. If I suspect that it's not, like I did in example one, then I would set out looking for a specific C and a specific V um, that shows that it's not closed under scalar multiplication. So where I can show that the product is not in W. Um, but in this case, I believe it's true, so I'm going to set out to prove that it's true. And I'm sorry again for my handwriting on this tablet. Um, OK, so just let C be any real number. And let's let v be some vector in w. So I'm going to refer to that same v1 that I set up uh, under item number 2 there. And so let's look at c times v1. That would be um, c times a1, c times b1. Just we would When you multiply a scalar times a matrix, uh, you just multiply each entry times c. So that's c times c1. That's not ideal. Sorry about that. But it'll work. Now we need to check whether these conditions are satisfied. So first, the a plus d equals 0. So this entry plus this entry, does that equal 0? Let's see. So c times a1 plus c times d1. Well, I could factor a c out there. And this is a1 plus d1. Now if uh, the original matrix a1, b1, c1, d1 is in w, then this sum must be 0. So this is c times 0, so 0, which means, yes, this equation is satisfied. Let me look now at the second equation. b minus c2 equals 0. Uh, so that's this entry minus 2 times this entry. So c times b1 minus 2 times c times c1. Again, I can factor out the c, and I have b1 minus 2c1. Since the uh, vector v1 is in w, this must be 0. So this is c times 0, which is 0. So this equation is satisfied. So the answer is yes, it's closed under scalar multiplication. Since it meets all three of those requirements, yes, w is a subspace of the collection of all 2 by 2 matrices. Uh, one other thing I want to say before I go. Notice that if this were not 0 here, um, let's say a plus d is supposed to be 1, then we would run into problems uh, because 
if a times d1 had to be 1 right here, then you would have just any real number times 1. The product would be any real number. So it would not, it would not equal 1. Um, so there's something special about 0 here that is helping us satisfy uh, the conditions for w to be a subspace. The fact that when I multiply just any scalar times 0, I get 0. Um, there's something to that. If, if you want some uh, ideas, ideas to start to connect in your head about when things are subspaces and when they aren't, um, the equal to zero here is fairly important.